In this video, I'm gonna give my three year review of the Erickson wheel chocks. Were they worth it or were they a bust? Well, let's find out. Let's go. All right guys, so about two and a half, three years ago, I installed the Ericsson wheel chocks on my trailer. So I definitely got a good amount of experience using them. So let's first jump into the pros and then jump into some of the cons. All right guys, so let's jump into the advantages of using the Ericsson wheel chock kit. So the first thing obviously is the main thing is securement. You know, these things I've towed all the way from Little Rock to Houston using this kit and obviously other destinations, but that was my furthest ride with this kit and had no issues. I load my Can-Ams up, I strapped them down, and that was it. I didn't have to worry about my four-wheelers coming loose. I didn't have to worry about my straps coming loose. I would check them every time we got gas, and they were tight every time. So to me, that's a huge advantage, a huge stress relief, where you don't have to worry about, oh, are my four-wheelers coming loose? Are my straps coming loose? And having to stop every 30 minutes to check them. You can just obviously load them up and then check them every time you get gas. And that's what I did. So it's a huge time saver on top of that and stress relief. I've ran into previous issues when we were tying down my motorcycle. It was my first time basically trailing my motorcycle with ratchet straps. I bought those cheap ones that basically slide in that don't ratchet. The whole way there and the whole way back, I was worried about my motorcycle falling over on my buddy's uh, motorcycle or my motorcycle falling off the trailer because again those rat straps work themselves loose and this kit doesn't do that you know you strap them down you're good to go every time you stop and get gas go ahead and stop and check them but for me when I checked them they were tight my whole time driving to Houston I didn't have to stress about you know my straps coming loose are my machines still on the trailer you know are they rolling off the trailer that's a huge stress relief especially when you're traveling eight hours that's probably the main advantage of buying this kit guys is that you know being able to properly secure your machines and not have to worry about them falling off the trailer so number two is time savings and also being able to secure your machines effortlessly drive your machines up make sure the wheel wheels are over the chocks strap them down you're good to go uh, i still have buddies that use traditional ratchet straps they're still out there you know ratcheting it down tying up their slacks so their slacks not you know all in the wind hitting the truck hitting the trailer hitting the atv you know with these you drive them up ratchet down a couple times you're good to go so for me it's being able to save time this kit is also makes tying securing machines effortlessly and then of course they're also secure which is like the main point of using this kit all right guys now that we talked about the advantages now let's talk about some of the disadvantages it doesn't have many but i did want to mention them to you guys so you're aware of them one of the biggest disadvantages of these straps is the overall length of the strap so with the canams they come with a stock 30 inch cryptid which is more of like a 28 and a half and so these straps will tie that down per however when i moved to a 30 inch assassiner which is a true 30 these straps started getting a little tight i believe these straps also work with probably a 32 inch assassinator 34 inch assassinator might be pushing it so if you're above a 34 these straps probably won't work for you. and so to me these straps don't allow you to grow uh, as you progress with tire size on your machines so it's like you buy these straps of course they'll work for a couple years and the next you know you've upgraded to a 36 or a 34 and they don't work you're like i was invested in these straps and this kit and now i no longer can use them even though i loved them that's probably one of the big disadvantages that i see with buying this kit now if you don't plan on changing your tire sires or only going up a couple inches you'll be fine but you know if you start looking at like a 33 or 34 it might start getting tight so just something to think about my number two disadvantage with this kit is if you lose one of these straps you're stuck you're gonna have to buy an entire new kit to just replace one of these that was a situation for one of my buddies he lost one of these straps you have to buy a whole new kit and so to me it's just like man i don't necessarily need a whole new kit I just need one of these. That was kind of frustrating for him because have the kit installed and all you need is one strap. It's like, hey, I'll pay $15, $20 for a new strap. I don't necessarily want to pay $60 or $70 or $80 for an entire kit. So just something to think about, guys. If you do buy this kit, definitely keep up with your straps. All right, guys, so my third issue with this kit is that it does not come with any hardware to install the wheel chocks themselves, which to me, you know, I live about 20 to 25 minutes in the closest Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware store. So it's a little bit of a trip. So my how-to video of installing these, I do list all the hardware that you do need to install these it was i bought all grade 8 hardware i'll list that video above me now so check that out if you are wanting to purchase this kit and install it you will need to buy your own hardware you know it's just an additional added cost it's like okay i bought the kit the kit comes okay cool i want to install it oh it has no hardware in it so now i got to run to the store get the hardware come back home and then install the kit Obviously, with doing a little bit of research on this kit, I did see in a lot of other YouTubers and a lot of other forums uh, basically mentioned that it does come with no hardware. So I went to the hardware store prior to the kit coming home. But if you just bought this kit and thought you're going to install it, uh, you're going to have to run to a hardware store. All right, guys. So in conclusion, using the Ericsson wheel chocks, would I buy them again? Definitely. The only reason why I'm actually doing this video is because I'm actually going to be installing Strapino's kit that they sent me. So I'm going to be pulling their kit out, installing Strapino's kit. Otherwise, this kit would still be on my trailer. I love it. All my straps after three years there's no tears there's no 
rips. There's there's not. I will say this: you do probably need to put some sort of penetrating oil into your ratchets to keep those nice and functioning because of course debris gets inside there. No big deal. But overall, I mean the wheel chocks, I painted them black. Those are beat up, but they still function properly. They're not coming up through the wood. I mean, overall, I rate this kit probably like an A plus. I mean, no issues. Like, they've been great to me. I still love them. Like I said, the only reason why I'm replacing these is because Strat Pino sent me their new wheel chalk kit. So stay tuned for that video. I do definitely see some advantages of purchasing that kit over this kit. And that's just another hang out with your boy PA. I hope this video helps you uh, make a decision on if you want to purchase the Ericsson kit. Again, I personally love this kit. The only reason why I'm moving on from this kit to the Strapino kit is because Strapino sent me their kit and I want to give it a shot. And that's just another day hang out with your boy PA. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.